again. Again, 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 again. Big smile on my face. One million. One million. I can't even fathom what that means. One million. Only if I, if only I got a pound for every subscriber. <laughs> Listen, it's the realest channel on YouTube. Let me take my gum out. My mom told me to speak with gum in. No manners. And we're back. Thank you, everyone at home, worldwide, wherever you are on this globe. Thank you for subscribing to the realest channel in the world. We started YouTube in October 2018, and by January 2020, one million people subscribed to my channel. I'm very thankful, hella appreciative. Like, I just, I don't know. I can't put it into words. You know, you just upload, you upload, you upload. I focus on boxing, and you know, my whole life I focused on boxing, and then all of a sudden, I meet a few guys, I get into this venture where I really realize it can be a big deal for me marketing wise and just a way to connect with everybody and now a million people have chosen to connect with me on YouTube you know having over half a million followers on Instagram is crazy nearly 200,000 on Twitter is crazy I've only had three pro fights I haven't even reached the pinnacle of my career where I'm gonna be in the stadiums in the arenas with the belts around my waist and we're already doing numbers bigger than the people that have achieved those things and I'm just very thankful to be in the position that I'm in in, you know to have the backdrop that we have right now even that's a blessing you know everyone knows I'm not really a fan of the sun that's why we're doing the video in the shade but the sun is nearby so we've got the best of both worlds right now manager John I want to thank him as well for shooting this video he's done bits for me I can't lie he's done a little few, he's done a few bits for me he made me look good in Dubai he's making me look good now he made me look good when I knocked out that guy in 33 seconds in Vegas as well so shout out to manager John shout out to James Culverhouse my editor from day one he's done his thing you know he's improved a lot the way as the channel has grown his skills have grown as well so i want to thank him i want to thank jj i want to thank gib i want to thank harry i want to thank freezy i want to thank calyx i want to thank everyone finch i want to thank any youtuber that has anything to do with me has helped me along my journey and supported me i want to thank them all for what they've done i'm just going to continue to excel continue to grow continue to provide content like i did with the last video which was just high level i was so impressed with it i feel like could have been on tv and that's what i want to provide for you guys of course we're gonna have the fight night videos of course we're gonna have the reaction videos but i also want to produce that high level content so i'm gonna expand the team very shortly shout out to my pro team as well you know they've come on board recently to the realest team in the world and they know that's where they belong and that's where you guys belong as well so I'll make sure you hit up myprotein.com as well is it real.com because you've got new stuff fresh 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 real athletic clothing it's just a, yeah it's just yeah i'm in a very good position and uh i want to just thank everyone at home right enough of the victory lap i I promised you guys a while ago just after JJ beat Logan I said when I hit 1 million subscribers I'm gonna drop the video the full video to the snippet I uploaded on Twitter of me slapping JJ in the head now as I upload this video I don't want you guys at home thinking I'm proud and my chest is big because I slapped JJ in the head because that is not the case however I feel that day was a contributing factor the contributing factor to him winning the fight I've never lost my temper with him before I've never felt anger towards him before to even put my hands on him or even yell at him the way I did on that day but things weren't falling into place we were running out of time I could see Logan was training hard Logan's a great athlete himself a great competitor someone who's dedicated to whatever he puts his mind to evidence shows that so I was worried and I was and I panicked I admit it I panicked and I thought this guy is not getting it like he's not understanding what it takes to be a professional fighter and during that dismal very dismal sparring session he came back to the corner he's back chatting instead of focusing on what he had to do and the frustration I felt the disrespect because I'm only trying to help you I'm taking time out of my life I'm taking time out of my career to help you excel in your career to, to see you reach the next level you know as a brother as, as a family member to him I class him as a family member you know we both had these conversations as his brother I had to just smack him because he was not getting it it wasn't for me to look bad and big and strong on camera it was a natural thing that he deserved and he admits later that day even he deserved it because he just wasn't fulfilling his potential and anyone around me who I care about whether it's John holding the camera right now whether it's Leon whether it's you know my dad anyone if they're not fulfilling their potential it's frustrating because we only want the best for who we love so that slap came out of frustration but only wanting the best for him so we're gonna watch 
bits and pieces of the video. Not the whole sparring session because I love JJ and it wasn't something that I want to showcase to the world, but I will showcase the parts where I lose my temper and what actually led up to that slap happening. But thank you all again. Let's get into the video. So this is the beginning of the sparring session. 18 seconds into the video. This is the beginning of this, the sparring session. Uh, and it's round one right now. So we was expecting a good sparring performance from him just because he, he, had, he watched Logan do his public workout the day before this spar and, and it motivated him to push himself more because he saw Logan could skip better than him and he was like, you know what, I need to up my game. So I said, all right, cool, bro. That's, that's, that's the way you should think. Always outdo your opponent. And then um, he ended up running maybe five miles just because he didn't think he was doing enough and that Logan wouldn't run five miles. So he ran five miles the day before this spa, which fatigued him. He woke up the next morning and he told me and Leon, oh, I, I feel fatigued, you know, that run tired me out. We was like, listen, no one told you to do that run. You done that off your own accord, knowing you have sparring the next day. So yeah, um, I said, you can't tell me you're fatigued because you, you ran miles that we didn't tell you to run. We told you you have sparring the next day. So he's in this spar and he goes in already fatigued and you know, his morale's low because we didn't really show him any sympathy when he thought if I work extra hard, you know, the guys would appreciate it. So first round here, you can see JJ's kind of taking his time, just moving around the ring, being fairly lazy, you know, not really working too hard. But this was acceptable because it's six rounds that he, that he's, um, that he was fighting. So the first round to move and pick and um, not really do much was okay. It's not okay, but it's like, it's not gonna piss me off. Like, it's cool. Um, Musin, again, sparring partner who has also helped Gib out in his camp. Very good guy, good temperament. Mentally more stable than I am because um, when I ask him to hurt people, he doesn't do it. But I guess he's got more sympathy for the guys than me. But I, I love them. I just don't have as much sympathy as, as he does. Okay. So we're going to fast forward a little bit. That's first round. It's going to be all quiet. I'm not going to show you the whole spot. So we fast forward about seven minutes into the video. And you can see, you know, throwing some sloppy hooks. This must be about round two or three now. You know, he's swinging. His hands are down. He knows the game plan was to push Logan back. The game plan was to be stronger than him, push him back, make him work. He's letting Musin push him back, which was the complete opposite. He starts walking forward here, sloppy punch. Um, and this was just, okay, so this is the end of the round. So he comes back to the corner. Let's hear what I say to him. So any of the fighters we showed you yesterday, did you do anything? No, okay. Now why? That's the question. I'm fucking tired, bro. Ah, uh, bro, I don't want to hear it, bro. Uh, bro, you can don't say all you want. I'm fucking tired. So you can see him there. He says, I'm fucking tired. Like, you can say whatever you want. He wasn't trying anything that we taught him. And so we was frustrated. He said, you can say what you want, but I'm fucking tired. You know, he said, I'm, I'm tired. So like, all right. Not much we can really say to that, apart from you're going to be tired on November 9th, so you better work. As the bell goes, we are going into round three. You can hear Leon's frustration. Why are you waiting? Let's go to work. He comes out with his hands a lot higher, trying to walk back, walk him down as we spoke about. But you can see, for those that know JJ, seen any of his fights he's very explosive you know his, his natural attribute is his athleticism his power his speed and you could see this is like a shadow of himself and i know his full potential so seeing stuff like this really did frustrate me as i said i'm going to fast forward a little bit more as i don't want to show you guys all of all of the sparring it's not something that i want to show you all but I just need you to get a gist of what was it building up to the time where I lost my, my tempo. Let's fast forward a bit more. Let's rewind it a little bit so you can hear what I'm saying in the corner. So he comes back to the corner. 
Leon's saying you're going to see the tape, you're going to see you're doing bad, basically. Starts walking away from the corner, you can see his body language is starting to switch off, so... This isn't the round where I lose my temper, but you could see he's already walking off and like disengaging from what he needs to focus on. So Leon's screaming out work, I'm saying let's go. And we're heading into round four. More of the same, lazy jabs, walking with the hands high, but that was good, good little body shot there. But you quite messy, you know what I mean? Just not being himself. And looking for a way out. I think the smack also came from the fact he was looking for a way out. He was looking for a way to quit. And I've never been a fan of quitters or quitting. It's just not my, it's not my thing. You gotta try, man. And he wasn't trying. You see he's letting Muslim dance away and work at his pace, he's following him around the ring, his feet are crossing over, not good. Let's fast forward a bit more. Fast forward to a decent right hand there. Oh, we 14 minutes and 26 seconds in the video. Takes a nice jab to the body from Nussin. Another one, just walking forward, eating punches. That's not him, he's very elusive, he doesn't like to get hit. And then on this day, he was just, I don't know. Good slip and body shot from us in there. That's the most spiteful shot he's thrown on one of the guys, including Gib. Um, and Gib makes you want to hit him hard. But yeah, it's true. He, Gib makes you want to hit him. Okay, so that's the end of the round. He's walking back to the corner now. I'm turning the volume up on this. So the gym owner tries to give him some advice. I'm like, no, don't give him no advice. Leave him, let him be. I asked him if he's done. I asked him if he wants to quit. We're saying leave him. I, I felt like he wanted to quit, so I asked him, do you want to quit? He said, just give me some water. So, you know, that's already disrespectful because all you have to say is, can I have some water, please? But he was like, just give me the water. So I was like, okay. So I'm saying throw. And then I lose my shit. I'm going into her. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> I laugh at it now. <laughs> it wasn't funny then. But yeah, he's telling me, he's basically trying to tell me I didn't give him any advice, which is like ridiculous. All I've ever done is give him advice. He's saying, fuck it, fuck it. Like he's, he's like, fuck it, fuck it. So I'm saying, okay, he's quitting. He's quitting. You can hear me cursing in the background. To keep pissing me off and I'll fucking punch you. I said I was smart him and I'll attack you because. Muslim weren't doing what I wanted him to do. I wanted him to hurt him. Show him what professional boxing is about. Show him what a professional boxing training camp is about. I said, Logan's gonna hit you harder than this. I said that to him, you're being a bitch. Logan's gonna hit you harder. Time to man up. Too late for this shit. It was the truth. I'm losing it. Turn it up on him. Turn it up on him, please. Make him work hard enough. That's it. I was asking Muslim to turn it up, but I wanted him to really hurt him. But Muslim could see he was so demoralized. He just didn't even want to. He just didn't even want to do it. That was a good shot. And then Wilson starts throwing all these little punches on him because he just didn't, he didn't want us to say that you weren't working him, but you didn't want to hurt him. But yeah, you can see JJ at this point has just switched off. That was bad of me. I said, if I was in there right now, I'd knock you out right now. But I meant it though. I don't know, like, it was bad, but I, I meant it. Like, I would have knocked him out because that's the reality of boxing. 
Turn your toes, you're not tired, you're not tired, come on. If you don't you're defend tired. yourself, you get knocked you're out, tired. it's a consequence. So. You're not tired, come on. Steve in the background is trying to motivate him, his bodyguard is trying to give him uh, some advice, but it's too late for that. Last 30 seconds of the fifth round, he lands a good shot there. There you go, he wakes up, he starts throwing a few one-twos. This was about a week or two before Sensei arrived. Faye Sensei came to the spot. And that was the end of round five. JJ does go on to spar a sixth round with Muslim, which was just more of the same, lack of effort. And after that, you know, I really went to the more experienced people of the game. I went to Jeff, I went to Jeff Mayweather, I went to Stitch Duran, uh, I went to my manager, Amir. I, I just said, guys, man, what are we gonna do? Because we can't get through to him. And a lot of people don't realise, yeah, when we hear from the United Kingdom KSI, the nightmare, to get that result, to hear that, was a lot of work. And that's why we was jumping around so erratic, that's why he broke down in tears. That's why I was hugging him in the middle of the ring on our knees, because people don't understand, man, how much went in to get that victory and, you know, this is being recorded before Gibb fights Jake, but people don't understand. I'm, I'm, I'm on these guys. I'm, there's no fear. There is no fear of me being fired or, you know, oh my, if I talk to him like this, I'm gonna lose my job. Man, I'm just doing it for you. I'm doing it to get the best out of my guys. And we've never lost a fight. So something works. We have a winning method. We'll continue to have a winning method. Once you guys watch this back a few times, Gib would have beat Jake. And I'm proud, I need to say this, I'm proud of Gib, I'm proud of JJ because they're stepping into a real dog sport. They're stepping into one of the harshest sports in the world. They're winners, you know what I mean? They're winners and I'm proud of where they've come from. These guys are YouTubers that were just overweight playing games to looking in shape, fighting on the world stage. And I don't say it often, but I'm really proud. I'm really proud, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy that they push themselves and I can help along the journey push them. But yeah, before we start getting into a, a whole sentimental, tearful speech, it's the realest channel on YouTube. I'm a man of my word. I provided the content that I said I would provide. Okay, I love everyone at home that supports me and I even love everyone at home that hates me because I still have a moment in your life more than you have in mine. You know what I mean? So I'm appreciative of all haters, all supporters. It's the realest channel. We hit 1 million, we'll hit 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 2 mil, 3 mil, maybe 5, maybe 10. We might get a diamond plaque. We've got the silver, we've got the gold. We're coming for the diamond plaque. Love to everyone that supported. It is the realest. Um, I shoot with the range, I hop out the range We pull up with notes, we don't carry change We pull up in skirt, we crash on the mains We pull up in skirt